And here we begin my 2015 uh, apartment tour. I don't think things have changed a whole lot, but you can see I, I've kept the wall scrolls mostly the same. Actually, I don't think I've changed any, but they're all there. It gives the place a very anime look. This is, of course, the usual primary um, piece, I guess, by which this apartment was pulled about. As usual, it's still two DVDs deep, and these are all alphabetized. Up there is just special ones that kind of have weird shapes to them and don't fit quite right. Except for the Dragon Box, which I just knew I wanted the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Boxes to be together like that. The pile of NISA Premium Editions is pretty high. And it's harder to see, but you can see their Card Captor Sakura. Did they do Card Captor Sakura? I guess I don't remember. They did do Toradora. There's the Gurren Logan one. But I guess one thing that's changed is these piles of things here are just a. Uh, DVDs with Blu-rays in them. Basically, uh, these piles were getting a bit far. They were encroaching on my guest space here. And uh, this table now lives out here. I guess it didn't used to. You can just see random junk back here. The Blu-rays are back there. And I think those are just disorganized because I'm trying to fit them in there. <clears throat> but yeah, for these, basically... Since they were taking up so much space, I decided, you know, these shelves are full, and this shelf, I would maybe be able to just putting a couple in the front, stuff down there, but I'd have to completely empty it out to really start using it. So I'm accepting the fact that there's not enough space here for all my DVDs, and they're in boxes, but I'll show those later. Other things over here, you can kind of see, this is a to-do pile that a specific friend I'll be watching with him, and then I guess I've got a Chromecast back here because I was playing with that. That's a travel bag for various things. You can see here, this is the TV. It's a 55 inch, so it wasn't even the biggest available then. But for highly featured uh, Samsung with uh, no thickness to it and no edges to it, it's uh, probably still pretty pricey now even though the price maybe have gone down and I think the sizes are getting better than bigger than 60 inches for the LED TVs but that's what this is this one's only 55 inches but for a little apartment like this that actually fills the room really well over here you can see uh, piles of anime I intend to watch I keep mostly blu-rays here because the DVDs can just be um, put on my streaming server which uh, I'll get to in a bit. Well, technically, I take my DVDs and I put them on my DVD server. You can see uh, eight hard drives there, and you can see the sides open for it, but that's the anime DVD server where I keep all the rips of all my anime DVDs so I can access them and don't have to dig them out. It has 48 terabytes of disk space. And the not anime isn't as spectacular, and it might be something like 7 or... No, I think I actually mentioned it was closer to 12 or 14 terabytes of disk space. I don't know. Still a lot, but 48 is pretty incredible. I mean, that requires a ton of hard drives, whereas this one, you can see, okay, yeah, if I spent some money on it, then I could probably accumulate something like that. And that's not an official measurement. But here's the way, uh, I, since I was talking about that, the basic idea is I have my DVDs on these servers, and it's just to keep... They're so big just because I like to keep the data raw in case I ever want to go back to a DVD and find anything. But when it comes to actually encoding the stuff and storing it, you of course don't need nearly that much space. Over here, that's the server that I do my streaming and Minecrafting and Starbounding on, where basically I just use some custom scripts. It, it All the... All the stuff fits on a 3 terabyte drive, but it doesn't have everything encoded, obviously, and it doesn't even have the data on how to encode everything, but it's all a custom solution, lots of fun. The other computer over here is just a computer, and maybe y'all noticed a little uh, computer there that's just a 
HTPC, I think is what they call them, which is Home Theater PC. I don't know why I said the acronym first. I guess other interesting thing, this is, I've not shown a lot of the mess back here before, but you can see that there's actually uh, three battery backups back here. And uh, there's one back there. So the brownouts will stop killing my Minecraft server. And I don't have to worry about uh, them causing me to not being, be able to uh, access. And you can kind of see there's one here I have to replace the, um, the battery in. Obviously, that's where I record most of my stuff, and so I normally keep the remotes here because if I'm sitting in what the layout calls the dining room, then it, I don't know. Sometimes I eat here while playing video game or doing computer work and uh, watching anime. You can also see that I keep my Wii U tablet here so I can play it whenever and my laptop is also there for additional screen. That's not my main 3DS, that's my um, launch one, so that one's an Ambassador one. It has the Ambassador games on it. This is my main 3DS over here. So that's not completely organized. You know, that's the real problem is sometimes you're always in a constant state of organizing. Like that down there, it's a pile of papers, mail mostly from 2010, 2011, I think, and I've just put off sorting it and not filing stuff. I mean, I started doing that recently because I got a paper shredder. Actually, I also got this envelope out so you could see it in action. Let's find a nice straight corner. Now that's a satisfying paper shredder. And that is new if y'all were curious. This table used to be a big mess. It's actually kind of a mess right now, but this is an organized mess of projects to do. Where, like, there's the Ymir figure. I haven't quite figured out where in the apartment to put it. That's the Bubblegum Crisis cell I got for the Bubblegum Crisis Ultimate Edition Blu-ray um, Kickstarter thing. I've got receipts, snacks, and obviously various DVDs and Blu-rays in various states of uh, needing to do something. You recognize some of these as things I showed like three, two, whoop, one week ago. And then uh, the stuff I showed yesterday is underneath there. It's various projects, things I still need to put on the DVD servers, things I want to put on the streaming server or rewatch or things like that. Over here, we've got the uh, kitchen. And I've mentioned this before, and one of the reasons I really like this layout is not only was there a wall there that allowed me to um, put the shelves, but the sink where I'd probably be doing something like sitting down here and peeling and chopping potatoes, which I'll be doing after this video. You know, this allows me to sit down here and watch anime while I'm doing that, which is very nice. Beyond that, you can see that there's an interesting little cooking project going on. Nothing complicated. Uh, since the uh, since it's so close to New Year's, so far beyond uh, Thanksgiving, obviously I wasn't able to find uh, any uh, butterball turkey breast roast. So I just have uh, five chicken breasts in the slow cooker, and I just started that uh, a couple minutes ago. Nothing complicated, just throw some sliced apples in there, and so I'm going to cook and mash some potatoes, some biscuits, and some gravy. Nothing complicated. This is a worthwhile thing because obviously the calendar changes frequently. You can see this is the uh, Girls in Panzer one. Now technically at this point it's December 31st, but it is almost 10 p.m. So it's close enough that for the sake of this video I put that up. Uh, let's see. I guess I've put some stuff up here. I don't think there's anything about the bathroom too important. So, what about the bedroom? The bedroom is definitely, this is a bit more of a mess, but definitely one I had to show you because these are the boxes with, um, these three boxes have the anime DVDs that were piling up in the front of the shelves. And so, what I want to do is I want to organize a lot of this stuff, get it into the closet. The closet has been 
mostly cleaned out and I don't know if I'll be able to put that stuff in there because I want to be able to get and access that stuff but I don't know this table now lives in here and this is the space where obviously girls and hands are being flattened to make it not so uncooperative and then I got a bunch of stuff here that are kind of other projects so a lot of projects are accumulating here in the bedroom um, you can see these are Wii U Pro controllers, and these are USB cables to charge them. Here's two uh, Wii U to GameCube controller adapters. Obviously, there's uh, this is a sensor bar for traveling purposes, so there's projects. And again, you have Magic the Gathering cards and baby toys and stuff from before the move that I need to figure out. Probably worth taking a look at is this is the hentai shelf which I don't think has evolved too much DVD wise but there could be things here that you haven't seen before I mean obviously there's the Zoid and Minecraft I don't remember which year I got these signed uh, Funimation things for birthday present uh let's see obviously that's from last year's Point of Magic Madoka Magica movie 3 I guess I put the limited edition of Kam Kami Sama Keith? I, I guess I don't remember. For the most part, I think that should be the same. As for things on the wall, I think they're all the same. I might have changed those so that they're diagonal, but I don't know if I did that this year or not. And some of these characters on the walls are a little less clothes and so I'm intentionally skipping them but oh well I uh, think that about covers it that's pretty much the tour of the apartment oh I guess there's also you I'm guessing last year this was probably a much bigger mess and you can just see that it it's got a system now to stay organized which is very nice and I guess I mentioned but never showed all the amiibos. Nothing spectacular. Maybe just a bit crazy because with eight of them, you can have all eight of them fighting each other and whatever. It's stuff. So, there we go. That's uh, the state of the apartment uh, at the end of 2014. Did I call it 2015? Uh, whatever. The title's going to be correct. Oh, look. Let's just finish with a shot of the good old um, Goddess Madoka figure. I guess we can't finish it there because uh, I haven't gone over this stuff. I know like the Harry Potter collection used to be in the bedroom and I moved it out here and up there. I don't want that in storage because that thing's just too spectacular. And it occurred to me that I never really... I briefly went over this shelf but didn't really talk too much about it. You can see down there, I've just got books. Mostly walkthroughs related to Pokemon, even if I haven't played in a while. That's the shelf of imports. Mostly from Japan, but there's a couple from Australia. Pokemon DVDs. And then the anime play DVDs. The manga's never gone anywhere. This is just a shelf for stuff going out. This is the shelf of Blu-ray stuff. This is for various games, and that's just an extra copy I have for... Uh, friend. You got GameCube, DS, and 3DS stuff in there. I think I recently made a pile of all my 3DS games. And up there, it's double to triple layer. It depends how you count. There's Super Nintendo stuff in the far back. Then the Wii U stuff. Uh, sorry. Then Wii stuff. And then the Wii U stuff here. So you can kind of see that there's a handful of games. Games. And, of course, two of the games down there. So, the Wii U's obviously been um, pretty used here, even if I haven't played a lot of stuff outside of Smash and Monster Hunter recently, I guess. Oh, well. So, there we go. I think that should wrap everything up.